check it out. This is going to be a fun box to get into. Loop Colors was super kind and hooking it up and sending a few little demo cans my way so we can uh, check out what they're rocking with. I literally have never touched a loop can before, but everything online looks so crazy. They're a product of Italy and only have heard great, great things about all the different types of paint that they've been offering. Looks like we got a little marker chart and then a whole line. Got some specialty colors, some tech colors, and then the maxi cans. I've seen some really wild stuff with that. And check the whole line of caps as well. Good stuff. Let's see what colors we got on the inside. So not sure what I'll be painting with this, but looks like we got black and white. And then pretty fun green in here. Peruga. Kind of a dark green. That'll complement that yellow very nicely. Really straightforward can design here. Got the kind of negative version on the black and white, which is fun. And then the colored one's got that, that silver hit up. That sweet, what was that yellow color? Roma. Good stuff. So that'll be also a nice touch so we can see what the kind of opacity looks like on the yellow, given that that's always a hard sell at times. Looks like we got a stock kind of banana style universal outline there. Let's see what they're calling it on their, their sheet. I think we might be stocked with the skinny loop. Very nice, kind of a translucent gray. So that's a pretty, pretty cool style there. Sounds like we got a couple mixing balls in there. And they feel like they'll mix really easily. You know, some paints they feel like you're kind of just really beating it up in there and it's almost like stiff. You know, this feels a little smoother. So hopefully that'll means that we get some real smooth applications. Yeah, so I had to look up the name for it, but this is almost a satin coloring on here, so it's not like super high glossy, but it's not on that super matte side, so you get kind of a nice middle ground there. So I don't know that too many paint brands actually attempt that. Most kind of go to either side, but I'm excited to give that a try, and we'll see how these rock. So without further ado, let's head out to the wall and see what we can come up with with the set. Let's start this cap test off with a little review of the stock tip. Kind of looks like a universal outline here, so maybe we'll get a nice thin line out of it. Ooh, nice and crisp. Also curious about these new beige caps. Haven't seen them before, but picked them up just the other day, so it's supposed to be a nice thin line. Let's check them out. Ooh, even skinnier. I like that a lot. So we should stick with some of the skinnies. We got a black universal and then we got the kind of gray dot on there. A little softer. Get a little bit of a flare there. Yeah, definitely a little bit bigger than that stock tip. And it'll maybe a top softer, but all together, pretty comparable. Next up, we got the blue dot on that soft style. Definitely a nice soft. Good for your middle fades as well. Before we get too big, let's hit the gray dot up. Nice, also kind of small soft style. Ooh, love the control on that. Got Lego next. Got like a fatter spray, quick line too. Nice soft style when you get a little bit further out. Curious to see how the NY fat works on this. Some of the designer cans, it's all over the place. 
Ooh, that is clean. Your Lego cap's been taken over the NY fat a little bit, but I think on loop, I'm gonna have to bring it back to that NY fat. That's a sweet style there. I got the pocket cap. Higher output for sure. Kind of definitely get further away from the wall, but maintain a more defined area. Orange dot. Also very high output. Nice. Got to go after that classic pink dot. That would just exhaust this can if you were to use it. Got the fluorescent orange. Also very high output. Getting bigger as we go. It's probably four inches wide compared to the can, about half a can tall. Very nice. And last up we got that silver fat. So this should probably be maybe five inches or so. Also high output. Very high output. A little bit actually skinnier than I thought. About the same as that orange fat. And then also the pink dot all together. Killer setup though. So we got style stuff from the stock tip in that beige color and that's kind of super skinny section. Bunch of washes here in the middles. A lot to choose from as far as the soft styling or kind of just the classic flaring of the NY fat and Lego cap. And then you got your awesome high output styling on the fat caps. Let's buff this out and uh, get moving into the piece. The piece is actually going to be somewhat of a black styling, so I think the outline is going to be in the white color. So might as well hit our sketch with that, get that laid out, and then we can fill in with the black afterwards. seems to be running pretty empty already just got the first letter down and then the outside sketches so instead of filling it totally with the black I'm gonna have to start utilizing some of that green as well I think I'm gonna do the first pass of the white slash yellow outline on this minimize how many cutbacks I actually need I'm gonna salvage as much of that black as I can So if you take a hard listen here, you can hear just how soft the valve actually is. It was super easy to control. I'm using that beige cap here, and I really felt that I was able to just do these super small little bursts, get the line exactly where I wanted it, and really have a kind of ease of control here. Definitely one of the softer valves I've ever used, and with this kind of really acute line here, I'm really able to just chop in everything, cut things back little by little, and you know, my workflow was pretty streamlined from start to finish. So if you take a quick listen here, you can hear how quickly the valve turns on and off. Now I'm pressing really softly with that, and it's generally a super soft valve altogether, so you're able to get a quick response to it without having to kind of totally engage it and totally let it go. It wants to spring back, but it's not really stressing your hand out too much to get it back to an open position. So you're able to get some super soft control and also go at a pretty slow pace here and slowly just kind of chop those lines in. The valve was so easy to control that you can almost hear that I'm getting close to kind of that 
half depressed kind of spitting sensation but the paint doesn't look like it's spitting so I don't know if you've ever tried to spray out a can just barely getting it open and it kind of just sputters out there's not enough actual propellant getting behind the paint and then you kind of just get a mess on the wall here you're able to actually just barely engage that valve and get a super fine line and a super consistent paint application so honestly I've never seen that in a valve before you know normally when you are so light on the trigger it ends up coming out kind of messy but here I was able to go pretty much as light as possible and get my lines exactly how I wanted them so I've found that the actual black universal style is working the best out of all the skinny caps I started with. Here we got the cap here. Uh, similar to the stock tip, stock tip's a little bit higher output than this full black one. So that's why I've kind of been defaulting to that, but pretty close on the stock tip. So all together, very happy with the skinny side of things on this and actually slowed it down a little bit with my uh, cutbacks. I was able to get a good start on this green section here, so hopefully we'll have enough paint to go do a full fill with a little bit of variety in the shading there. I was definitely a little premature saying that the cans were running empty really fast. By all means, it was a stretch trying to consider a full piece fill with just two cans. You know, that would be pushing the limits regardless of any brand. And honestly, I was thankful to see that I had, you know, to change my approach a little bit and worked through kind of that background so I didn't have as much time to go back and forth between cutbacks. But all together, I had enough paint in the end and it was good to see that it kind of forced me to work through a different process. By the end, I only ended up using that black and green on the entire fill and that's a great metric if you're able to do a full piece with just two cans and then another third can maybe for an outline you're in good shape so altogether paint lasted just as I would expect these cans come in at about six bucks a piece so they're right at that fair price for all your designer paint I got these directly from loop so I'm not exactly sure the best suppliers for them but I did a quick Google around and there seems to be a few not only here in the US but also over in the UK so uh, do your due diligence maybe ask around if anybody's used it in your area to find the best shops to get it now I was super impressed with the opacity on the white and the yellow both came in top-notch no issue at all covering on a single pass of any of the other colors and I'm using a skinny cap so sure enough you're gonna get a nice dump of paint right where you want it and honestly for an outline of white on a very black piece no complaints you know all things considered this just makes me eager and want to try some of their other colors in their color line you know see how those mix in and flavor on top of one another I know my preference on color changes quite a bit as as the paints get glossier you know some colors don't quite look as strong when they do have that nice sheen on them and so here with that satin finish on the wall it really supports the fact that you can mix and match any color from the line together with matte paint I think the pieces often look pretty dull and then with the background of my paints normally just random buff paint so that's generally has kind of a more matte style to it so when I throw a gloss on top of that that doesn't always look so great and here when you've got that middle of the ground satin finish it really pops off of this kind of repainted wall here so, you know the satin finish is a great application you're gonna get a cleaner picture at the end it's gonna look a little bit cleaner and not as aggressive with you know natural light or even artificial light reflecting off of it uh, so all things considered I might be hooked on the satin finish as well can't say I've got a ton more to say about the paint it worked so well throughout the entire piece I was super happy with the process you know with the little flip up I had to do and change my actual approach to the piece was no trouble at all it was great to see that the paint supported me through uh, even those quick cutbacks with the white over top of the dark colors and with the variety coming out of that cap test you can definitely tell the valve system is top-notch and so if you got a chance to pick some of this up I assure you it'll be some money well spent let me know what you guys think about the final piece and if you have some add-ons to discuss about the loop paint feel free to hit the comment section obviously a huge shout out to loop for sending these over letting me get my hands on them be sure to check out their website and Instagram I'll have those both linked down below and if you want to uh, check out some of my stuff I've got my Instagram and web shop down there as well thanks for checking out the video that's gonna do it for me guys peace